Why did you buy this? And what is it? It's a Miller GT, yeah. 1990. And uh, why did I buy it? It's a difficult question. I, I, I was We're trying to get into the psychology. Why? Yeah. Okay, so what? I like it. I. I love it. The boxy I, style. Yeah, I like. I like. I was looking at eighties Gucci's. I guess I've got. I've got an Ambassador. I've an Eldorado. I've got a V7 Sport. I've got a Convert, 1980 Convert. I I have then. Um, I've got two thousand. You know, I've got like a. A V11 Sport. I've got some modern Gucci's, but I didn't have anything from. Really, the eighties or nineties, and. Uh, I like the look. I just like the look of it. I like this, the boxy back end on it. It's kind of like Miami Vice kind of style with that <laughs> roundy boxy look on it. Right. And I, I suppose it might be, it just reminds me of bikes from when I was, you know, I think a lot of our, a lot of what we like harks back to a certain periods of our life. And, you know, in the 80s, 90s, I was just leaving school and yeah. going off to college. And so there's something about, for, it looks like a sort of commuter bike. Do you remember the old Kawasaki 550s? Yes. All the yeah. all the all the bike couriers used to ride those all around London. Earlier version of that over there. Though. Okay, or that's a dumb one. Sorry. Yeah, but the, the 550. You know, it looks. There's something about the practicality of it. I just liked it, and I, I I've never. They're quite difficult to find. I've never seen one for sale on Millie GG. No, there's not a lot out there. That's right, for sure. you get the T3s or before this. Um, T5s, I've always I liked those, but I've never seen one of these. Yeah, T5s they didn't bring into the United States. Right. Those are only for Europe. Right. So, but I've never even ridden a T5. But yeah, basically, I guess it's the same motor as a T5. I guess it's like just, it's, it bridges the gap between, I don't know, it's the 90s. Uh, and it's a nice, it's a nice example of it, I guess. Uh, there was a few things that didn't work very well with it when I bought it off eBay. And uh, and um, the clutch, somebody had put well, a, yeah, the hydraulic, the hydraulic clutch. clutch on it, which and did it, it. It didn't, st it didn't. You know, you'd let the clutch out, and nothing would happen. Yeah. You just have to sit there and wait, and then eventually it would go. But you, it's like you can't ride a bike like that. No, no, I can't ride a bike no. like that. The guy I sold it to was like, well, you know, after about after about a minute or two or three minutes of riding it, it sort of sorts itself out. It's like, you just sit in the lights yeah. waiting for it to go. And go. You can't, yeah, you can't do you that. Can't do that so. No, no. And then the seat, the lock, like you, you fix the lock because that was that was gone, and so he had a bungee strap over the back, and I just don't like. I wanted to look. I wanted to look nice. You know? So finding parts for this because this is an odd one okay. too. I mean, I searched Europe, uh, England, Holland, looking for parts for this thing, like the key. I'm like, oh, can I just get a key set? Can you get me, can I get a tumbler? Yeah. It's a, it's a 1990, it's not that old. I'm thinking, yeah. you know, it's not a it's not a 50s bike or whatever, yeah. or 60s ambassador old rod. Where, where can I get that? And everybody just laughed at me. They're like, no, man, no. <laughs> yeah. And it's and it's only, you know, but I guess, you know, in my head too, it's 1990, and it's 30 years old, you're thinking, oh shit, it's 30 years old, 30, yeah. now 32 years old. And people haven't been collecting them, like people haven't been, they're not no. sought after. So they no. might be now, and they might end up being now, but it's almost too late, all those parts are gone. I know, but they didn't make many of them anyway, so. Right, right, right. But this is really nice condition. I guess the, the issue, the big issue that we had with this is that one of the coils, now the coils have a special socket, and because I was thinking, you know, we could put different, we could put like a Bosch blue coils in it, which are a high output coil, I like them a lot. But these coils, this is like the first series of the uh, electronic ignition, so it's got, it's not using points, yeah. and it's got the, the resistor. The resistance on the coils is different than normal, and I'm like, oh shit, I gotta find real coils. So then I'm thinking, well, let me just go find a new Guzzi coil that's gonna work. And no way. So we had to get used. Well, we, we I got two used ones out of it. Some guy was parking one of these out in Germany. Yeah. So I got two coils out of him, and I think I got a couple other things out of him, but. And we used one of the coils. In fact, one of the coils that came out of Germany, the used ones, was bad. So yeah. luckily, though, one of yours was bad. So yeah, I mean that's what you got to do to keep yeah. it together, you yeah. know. So that's great. But anyways, well, you'll you'll you're you gonna start. It? Did you like it? Yeah, it's a, it's a it's it's you know all modern bikes to me. Besides riding, you know the the Eldorados and Ambassadors, it's like all all modern bikes are 
Um, I mean, they're nicer compared to this. You know, I mean, geez, you read the old stuff, and it's like you like it, but it's like everything's moving around a lot. This yeah. is like this is like you know, you get it on and you go. Right. I mean, it's, it, it rides pitching. Yeah. But you know, it's in, in the unknown. You know, un. No, it's like it, 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 no one even knows about this bike. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I don't, how, how long did they even make it for? Like, I don't know. A few years? Yeah. I think they started making them, I thought, in the mid 80s, but maybe six, seven years. Well, the Millie GT. Millie GT, there it is, everybody. We'll get Lindsay like to this. do it. I like this little, I don't know if you got the Wait, detail of this. Come over here, Lindsay. We'll get Lindsay to come over and come show them. It's got a nice little. Uh, for putting it up on the center stand, a little handle. Like you could use this, but they give you a little handle. <laughs> <laughs> so there you it. go. I love it. I got All right. for it. It's registered. It's good to go. Yeah. Thank you very much, Mo. All right, so we'll get this thing uh, loaded up. And uh, it's still got the original sticker on it. Show that, Lindsay. The true revolution in motorcycle safety. Oh, that was the linked, bra the linked braking system. Yeah, integral brake, they called it. Yeah. Which worked okay. Yeah. Everyone always ditched it, right? People, that was one thing people like to get rid of. Didn't they? People like to... Yeah, but it didn't work out too good. No. You know, like, uh, they would... It's actually a pretty good system because the foot brake works the left front and the rear caliper. Yeah. And then they put a smaller... On some of the early ones, the Brembo's like on the, the 750S and the 74 Eldorado... The bore is made for two calipers. It's a 16 millimeter bore. These, I believe, are 15 mil or 14 millimeter. I think they're a lot smaller, so you get more. Otherwise, it messes up the leverage on it. So that's only that's only operating the right right, the front. right front. Yes. Wow, that's cool. So, all right. So I guess that's all we got to yak about. Awesome. Did you get us all in there, Lindsay. Yeah, I got you. All right, so I guess we'll. Uh, are you eating? Are you gonna eat fajitas with us, or are you just yeah. now? Uh, what time is it? I don't know. I don't know. It's always lunchtime. If we if we do it soon, we can do it. All right. Yeah. Well, I don't know. We'll see. Hang on. It's cold, so just yeah. Where's the choke at? I got a choke. Out. Nope. Come on. Not that it's on this side.